we? Uh, we made it. Come on, Alula. Let's go pay our respects. Okay. Ooh. It's a gravestone. This one's got a lot more names on it. And there's a lot of gravestones here. I assume I can go talk to them. This must be where their mother's buried. But it's still hard, you know. Want, want to help me look for some flowers for mom later? Yes! And I assume there's nothing here. I'm gonna believe what happened. Today we met the Messiah and... Hey Nico. Hey. Alright, let's cross sand. Is there more over here? There is not. Nothing over here. Oh, there's a guy with an airplane. It's you. You, um, my name's Nico. Ah. Nice, finally, to meet you. No, wait. It's a pleasure to be an acqu of acquaintance at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Oh, I'm supposed to be looking for you, too. I am aware. You had contacted me earlier, saying that you would be on your way to the city. You did? He sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh. He told me to wait in a city, but I thought it'd be faster for me to pick you guys up. That was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you can fly that plane? What is a plane? A thing behind you. Oh, you mean the flying machine. <laughs> it kind of rem... It it kind of reminds me, um, Audi here in Australia has, like, so you've got Red Bull, which gives you wings, but Audi has flying power, uh, which I always like to claim ha uh, gives you, f uh, winged appendages, um, but that's not their actual advertising slogan, they don't have one. Called planes in my world. Oh. I didn't realize they exist in other worlds. Wait, are you the friend that uh, Calamus and Alula was talking about then? Same flying machine they were talking about? I don't know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. In previous iterations of the... Your father? Who's was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? Flying machine. It's cool either way. Uh, thanks. He also has a pretty cool hat, this guy. To answer your earlier question, I am proficient in operating the machine. But something weird happened to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city wall. You almost crashed? It's terrible. It was not a. It was not pleasant. I will admit. I wonder if the engine problem is to do with the square particle disruptions. I checked, but there isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. But I noticed some islands in the Glen are really messed up now. They are? Uh, I guess I should have listened to Pro Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? Said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the main islands? Oh, uh, actually, back at the Barrens, he... There was a cave-in, and a bunch of squares. He... And the robot lady. Neither of them made it out. No. He, he did give me this, so This disc is pulled from his head. Oh. Well, thank goodness. He gave you this main drive. So I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Really? It's going to be hard, but yes. We need all three of us for the big door. The, the first things first. We need to find a way to go to the city. Right. City gate is kind of kaput now. If this machine was working, we could just fly right in there. 
Mostly the issue with the machine, but I can't repair it with the stuff I have on hand. Um, I'm guessing this door is big, judging by your big door. I can't say I've seen the door, so I don't know how big it is, but it must be pretty big. What's wrong with it? The battery in the engine is dead. The engine has some gears that need to be replaced. I think you'll be able to fix it if you find those things? Maybe. Anyways, the Glen isn't exactly a very high-tech area. I'm sure if you'll be able to find anything so specialized here. We'll try anyway. Can't really do anything else right now. It's a crowbar. I was going to say, I have a crowbar already. I still have all the other stuff too. Interesting. Piece of this plane. It's fire. Flying machine. Right. Alright, so I have to go find some pieces. This is going to be fun. I suspect... It's going to have something to do with those artifacts back, um, back at the city. Well, not city, but town. Where I could find a battery? Good question. We don't really use electricity in the Glen. Ah. Oh, but there are robots at the research station. There's a battery anyway. They'd know where it is. Gotcha. Thanks. Find some gears? Gears? What's that? It's like a metal circle. With thing with teeth. Teeth? Sounds so silly. Something Magpie would have. Magpie? No, the trader guy. He collects all kinds of funny stuff. I mean, he even keeps around bloking glass and junk. Oh yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. Such a weirdo. Wait, that guy's name was Magpie? I don't think I noticed before. Alright, well... I guess we better take the boat back. Um, that's something though. Isn't everything covered in squares? So that puts us here. Where can I fast travel to? I can go to the gate. I can go to the graveyard too. Let's go gate. Now, this bridge is definitely broken. Unless it's a different bridge. Alright, um... That's fine, that's fine. I think there's... Let's try going this way again. Nope, that's still blocked off. That area is still blocked off. Uh, this area is still accessible. I still meant to give her the. Ooh, I'm here to say, see what happened to you. Hold on, I need to concentrate. The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines. You're making the vines grow. Is that why there are vines everywhere? Are you trying to hold the land together? House, the best I could do. Yes. Is the sun here for you? I knew you wanted to see it. Tempting, but I must... Sun brings me comfort, but... Stress is good for this. Fear is good. Makes me strong. Strong like Popeye? But, if I'm at ease, the vines might retreat. They're all in danger, saviour. The villagers, the children. My final hours mustn't go to waste. To live, even if just for another day. Huh. Okay. Uh, 
Um, that might have still been relevant, though. Um, I'll go that way. Alright, that's still blocked off. I'm guessing this is still blocked off. Yep. Hmm. So can I go this way now? I still can't go this way. Can I go... No, I can't go along there. Am I... Yeah. Is there anything back this way? Because this should just be the... Uh... Yeah, it's just a path back. I must be forgetting a path. What's this way? Nothing. Okay, this isn't good. Wait, was there anything this way before? I think I tried to go on this way too, and it's blocked. Puzzled. Where am I meant to go from here? So that's blocked off. Down there's blocked off too. Not that I can get there. I can go that way, but I've already done everything over there. Am I meant to talk further with this? With maze? Where's the rear end of Glen are broken in? That's right, the bridges. You need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah. Is it possible? Difficult. Bridges are in very specific locations over water. Find the right points. Vines must be very strong too. An undertaking. But possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. Please stand back. Okay, I was meant to just talk to you again. What happened? Are you okay? Are you... Uh, I think she's dead. Or he. Or they're concentrating. Okay, now I should be able to cross the bridge. Just talk to people more than once. That's all you need to do. I figured that was going to happen. Alright, there's that. Alright. Well, Plant Lady dies anyway. Although you can... Well, actually... You can replant her, even though theoretically you don't have to. Um, I have to go to a research center. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Hello. 
know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? It's kind of an emergency. What a flying machine is. Any sort of large machine would require a high capacity power cell. Jenna in this room utilized such a device. Alright, I almost forgot. We had to fix the battery for the thing in the barrens, didn't we? Living beings, you can use the battery from the generator. Oh, wait, but if we take the battery here, all of you guys would lose power, wouldn't you? Should fi go find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. The diocesan, then do what you must. Oh. Guess we have no choice but to take this. We depowered it. Well, I guess all the robots here are dead. Or, well, they're depowered, they're not dead. Alright, let's, um, that taken care of. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. I think the way... Wait, who's this person? Just restored. The village village should be able to find better fishing spots here. It's really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. Well, until... You know. And fragmentation is happening faster and faster now, but... Looks like the vines are slowing it down. making food for everyone. I want to help her catch fish, but I'm not a grown-up yet. And you never will be. Okay, I'm gonna go back home. Won't last long now, will we? Some can't fix the squares. Some can't restore the land. This magpie? Sure am. You here to trade? Yes, if you are, then I got bad news for you. Stuff is back at my cart, which was sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. Oh, they're all here now. Collection is uh, very limited right now. Some of my favorite things before I left, though. Oh, uh, have anything like gears? Like the metal spinny things? Do I have anything like that? Wait, I do have this box thing that c you can wind up and play a song. It's a music box. Yeah. But there's lots of little metal bits in here. Oh, that might work. Not sure if I want to trade it away. Favorite things. Oh, I see. You're the savior. Things have been getting r bad around here lately. Don't help you. I might not even be around much longer. To this is to save the world, right? Take it. Thank you. Uh. Ooh. I wonder if that. Uh. Where's uh. Making food. I already talked to you. I just like there's more moss covering than our village did. Build a settlement here. Too late like now, I guess. Ah, oh, there's a the sheep guy. What a day. You okay? I want to go back home. I already talked to her as well. That's blocked off. Yeah, there's a spinning goat of doom. Yeah. Nothing's biting there. Oh, there's people in here. Faster than ever now. It sure is. Make some stew. Literal. It's okay. Meh. And then regular sheep. Alright, let's fast travel back to the graveyard. To actually equip them. Found a battery. Oh, nice. Perfecting it. From the generator on one of the islands. Yeah. So, feel bad for taking it. Uh, we can always just give it back later. Right. Need a few gears to put this engine back together. 
Um, do I have to take, actually. I don't know if I just give him this. Gears in it, right? I assume so, but this looks like one of the ones that my father made. His music boxes too. It makes a lot of things. Where'd you get this from, by the way? A trader from the village gave it to me. I see. Then I used to trade with some of the people here. You did always love traveling this world despite... Well... I start rambling. A compatible with the engine. It pains me to have to take it apart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Looks like the flying machine has a chance after all. I have to assemble the pieces now, but it might take a while. You mind keeping me company? <sighs> How's it going? Slow. Connects and the battery were not designed for this type of engine. That is true. Maybe it's a really large music box. Um, or maybe the plane is has got really tiny gears for, uh, well, I don't want to say efficiency, because they'd wear out faster than larger gears. At least I think that's how that works. It just shifts around some of these parts. There's this bolt that keeps getting stuck, and uh, I'm making decent progress. We should be able to make it to the city by tonight. You say so. What? What'll happen once we get there? Let's bring Proto back first, and then we need to go find one more person. I've already met her, actually. Remember her from the last time you were in this world? I... What does she look like? Sounds strange, but she is a fox. Uh, oh. I do remember talking to a fox at one point. You've met Rue? Her ears are still really blurry, though. I see. It's just hard, you know. I want me to think of this world like a dream. And I get ca so caught up with, and I just kind of forget. Here is supposed to be not real. And then I remember. Just get really sad. I know it's for me to go home, but none of it mattered in the first place. Am I just trapped here for no reason? To not ask anyone in the world about this thing, how they don't understand. What about him? How did he know? How do you know? You know he's all supposed to be code? Well, what to be even believe in anymore? I wish Rue was here. So much better explain this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? I'm afraid I must risk sounding callous, but please, you need not concern yourself with how real everything is for now. The plan is already in motion. We cannot, we cannot allow for distractions. Fire is putting everything into this one last run of the world. Last chance for him to fix everything. Fire is involved in the world machine? You could say that. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the acceleration of square particle anomalies was not accounted for at all, though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but they're accumulating at a frightening speed now. Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, he gave up the disc just in time. So, what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? Now everything is code? Specifically, everything is generated from pre-existing code. Squares can ca cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. However, it's lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. It took them forever to develop the current, m much more stable version. It sounded like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah, but how? In this world is code. How can he build himself? That's, um, not really what happened. So what happened? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with, with, all right, all right. Prototype ever tell you about old world? 
He did say something about being built to greet the Messiah of the old world. So I'm too caught up with the other stuff at the time to think about it. Not of it at least then. Alright, here we go. My father, myself, the other two, are so part of the simulation itself. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. In years leading up to the calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it. But the outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion of hope. A prophet bot, or a prototype, was built to predict the future about the specifics of this messiah. But as his predictions turned out, the messiah would not have been able to arrive in our world in time. In fact, the messiah would not even have been born before our world ended. Certain, most people abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. Asked for his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet. The World Machine. A large detailed facsimile of the old world generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. I don't think he knew a lot of people then, from what I've seen. After a heavy amount of modification and added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is, there is no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. As for the standard hardware, you also need to borrow the mental processing abilities of a living person. Father used himself for that during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the exper experience stable enough. But as you can see, even that's breaking down. Ah. Father caught on to the issue in the last minute, but did not have enough time to fix it. After the world ended, the code kind of just ended up floating in the void indefinitely. Waiting for a willing operator to install it onto their own hardware. Yeah, the operator would then generate the universe using the code, becoming God in the process. Is the living person you need to borrow? No, that would be you. But why me? Asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? I do not know. We really need to get going. I thought we were waiting for you to fix everything up. We can leave in the next five minutes if you are ready. Alright. Upset. But please, try to understand. I'm doing this to help all of us. And that includes you. The fact that you can't go even go back home sets him greatly. It's... The world means a lot to him, you know. So, how does flying work? Already exists in your world? You should already know what to expect. Not really. I've only heard about them. Usually a lot bigger than this one anyway. Ah. Word of precaution. Before you take to the air, please try not to panic. It takes a few minutes of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you are in the air. I'll try. Probably tell Calamus and Attila where I'm going. You mean those two running over here now? Nico! Bad news. Boat is gone. What? It's the squares. Headed in this direction. That's fast. Right? How bad is it? To be of immediate danger. And it's our priority that I take you to the city first, Nico. Then, I can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too if you want. Equipped to handle the squares, you'll be safer there. Taking us to the city? If you wish. Oh, yeah! Alright. I'll be back here in an hour, so please wait for me until then. Fine here? Mm hmm. Those are still moving pretty slowly for now. Alright then. Guess we'll run into each other again soon. I'm ready to go. Alright. Yeah, they're dead. Those wheels look a bit small.
Also, I didn't see an airport here last time we came here. I, I guess... How do you... How do you land on such a small square? That shouldn't be possible. It's not a helicopter. Made it. Okay there. I think that was the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Reactions for the first time is always life for the watch. Hey man, that was really fun. Did you have fun too? I mean, you weren't on the plane, but you got to watch it at least, right? And Cedric, yeah? Thanks. Um, you're welcome. I'm financing my trip back there too. Tell me more about the world machine. I'm just happy to your old world, though. So, I'll help you the best that I can. And even if it's all just a machine, this world is still nice. I mean, I got to fly. I got to see the ocean. I got to meet a lot of nice people. People like you. And Prototype. Even if it, he's not, he's broken right now. Glad you are taking it so well. But I'm glad that we have met as well. Despite the circumstances. Ah, speaking of Proto, I should probably head off now. I need to go pick up the siblings too. That's true. It's true I've been waiting for a while now. Meantime, you remember what to do to get to the surface? Fix an elevator button. Alright, you should turn to that. Meet up here in an hour, okay? Got it. Alright, now let me just... No! They're, they're trapped on the island! Calamus, Alula, they're... We, we don't have much time left. Change of plans. Please give me the memory disk. Alright. Listen carefully. It's likely I'll be tired again, so we should split up to keep you safe. Find a door under a large clock. The room behind it houses a pair of ground access elevators. Step to the ground, immediately find room, bring her back to the room. Know what to do in the meantime. Alright, what about you though? I'm going to bring Prototype back. Uh, did he just para bloody parachute off the side of a building? Man, didn't know he could base jump. What? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Like that. Hey, let's do our best. Um, um, where does this- alright. This puts me here. Oh, I can't go plant the gar garden. Elevator guy. So this bit's the same. Right? How did you know? Help you fix it. Seriously? But thank goodness. The evacuees are counting on this. On me. Been here for hours and I can't figure out a thing. You know, from the West Apartments. Wrecked the place yesterday. The cafe. So service as soon as possible. Doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait. Didn't we find them? Find some a way to fix the button. Holy frick! Did he say holy fridge? Find another way to But this is the only elevator in the area. Think of something. Um... A, that's where the bed is. So I can't go west. I 
think this is it either, but I'm gonna go this way anyway. Oh, hello, Messiah. You, um, came at a bad time. The part of the West Sector got destroyed by squares of day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. At least the evacuees seem to be doing okay. Stay here for now. Bummer. I had to leave most of my plants behind. This stinks. Sorry, here. Yeah. Speaking of plants, it's just covered in vines now. Is that true? Yeah. Using them to keep the land from falling away. Plant spirit? Maze? Figured. How is she doing? Uh, she's gone, isn't she? Using up the last of her powers. You'd be surprised. She always did her best to protect everyone. Hey, hi. Oh, is it really cold outside? No, now that you mention it. It is really chilly this time around. Good thing I've, you've got a scarf, huh? Let's make the people evacuate. Is the girl sad? Squares are bad. I probably got evacuated while my parents were at work. Time them to pick us up now. Hope they're okay. There's no robots with me. Dang it. Let's move into my apartment. Now where am I gonna go? Oh, that penguin. Hello. Hello. Yep. Usual. Uh, there's no coffee grounds here this time either. Uh, so I guess... I mean, that was just dialogue, I guess. Um, I think I vaguely recall where I'm supposed to, well, I didn't do anything last time I went there. At the 11th hour. Be with the other evacuees? Maybe. What if the big clock has reached zero, yes. Right here when everything happens. Someone took the stationery! Who took my stapler? Well, so I've been last to do anything. Also, he seems unconcerned about his um, sticky tape though. Is this computer still functioning? No. Door is locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. Uh, I think I just enter solstice again here. I could be wrong though. I was right. It's the same password. So there's two elevators. There's three squares. This one's red. This one's green. This one's blue. And this one doesn't do anything. That elevator won't do anything, okay. What about this one? Wait, there's a lever hanging from the ceiling. I can't reach it. So I'm in. All right. So that's that. So I'm. Is this still empty over here? Because this loops around in a big circle. I know it looped around last time. See, there we are. So... 
so I gotta go find somewhere tall. Um, does it want me to go collect... Um... We're running out of time. Yeah, I know we're running out of time. Wait. Seriously? Never seen another one in this area. It was in a locked room. Oh, they are... Uh, what? I don't know yet. One of them has a lever that's out of my reach. Can you help us? What? I'm able to reach the lever because you're taller than me. Oh, I guess I am. So show me the way, I suppose. Can I fast travel to office? I didn't need to input it a second time. This room gives me the crease, man. Oh, same. Yep. Um, what did you need me to help with again? Can you reach the lever up there? Oh, right. Wait. I'm not that tall. Well, it was worth a shot. Wait, I got this. Nice. Thank you, mister. No prop, kid. So, you coming? Mm-hmm. Where does this put us? Oh! Neat. Oh, well, looks like this elevator works alright. I'll, uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is going on? No, it's the square zone, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but I can hear them just outside the door. Yeah, hold on, maybe... No, no, it's okay. It's like the squares are inside the elevator. Yes. Hurry, right? Go do what you need to do. What about you? I'll figure something out. Okay. I have to go find the fox, right? Alright, that door won't budge. I think because we're on this route, which is why that won't open. I don't think I'm meant to go in there. So this will lead to the other elevator. I have to go find the fox though, which I assume is in the alley. Please, you must. The labs could collapse any moment now. Let me uh, go of me. Cedric? He. I couldn't stop him. <sighs> Miss? Messiah? Oh, you came in an awful time. Come on, we have to get out of here. Where to? Where else is right now? I don't want to go that way. Oh, we're in the library. Look who's back. How about next time you let me know before you leave the shell to go into a literal death zone? I'm so worried, you know. Hey, you found the Messiah. Yeah, ran into each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. Couldn't stop him. I don't know why he was being so insistent. He, he said he needed to go rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Robot? Why do you need that book so badly? That a kid with white hair and goggles. That's Cedric. He ran into here early, grabbed one of the books from my archives and ran straight out the door. Without even going through checkout. Never that kid. Um, said it was an emergency, so I didn't bother stopping him. Hope he doesn't get himself killed out there. Yeah, I hope he's alright too. Any luck, maybe the lab comics can hold up a little long enough for him. Oh my gosh, it... That was... the labs? That poor kid. No, not him too. I'm... I'm sorry about your friend. So when we spoke, you told me to go look for someone on the surface. To go get going. Are you kidding me? 
There's no way we're letting you out there. I have to. George is right. Targeting a lot of the weakest constructs in the city. The library has enough structural integrity to withstand collapse. Here until things stabilize. However long that takes, but. What about my mission? To bring the sun back at least? The sun won't do us any good if the squares are just gonna mess everything up. Getting there is going to be hard. It's like this, there's no telling what's going on in the tower. Anything bad happened to the Messiah of all people? No, I won't allow it. When I said something about this forever ago, the world to die naturally should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faulty code speaking, but now I... I'm starting to understand. Ooh. Really, really sorry. Burn you with our hope, our faith. Blissfully ignoring the fact that you are just a lost child. Well, then any of us are. We have been dealing with tragedy for so long. Become background noise to us now. You must be so terrifying. Stuck here with the rest of us, being held back by the very people you were told to save. We must seem so ungrateful. It's... Okay. I... When I first start, came to this world, back then all I wanted was to go home. Do you remember? The very first time? I'm not sure how far back it was for you. <clears throat> But I remember towards the end, I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing the world would be doomed eventually, I still wanted to, the people here to be happy, so turn the sun back then. I didn't even question it. But then I just came back. You what? I, I went through that decision again, didn't I? But I came back again. Able to do both, the effects couldn't be permanent, would it? And then I found out about the world being like this. To forget the things he told me. I said told me not to think about it too much, but I getting upset at you back at the mines. I thought for you know, to know all that, yet continue doing this. It just seemed cruel. Then I realized something. You really wanted to save both the world and me. And you can only choose one, right? Is it really hard for you too? It must be. The world isn't broken. Will that choice still be there? Do you still need to choose between one or the other? Is... I really want to save this world. It's more dangerous this time around. The nice people we met were... I'm not afraid anymore. That's why. I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be Kate. Please? Well, I'm convinced. Well, that super rude for me to stop you, wouldn't it? Well, if George is fine with it, I guess we should let you go, Messiah. Promise us you'll be careful, okay? Oh, that, oh I just realized she keeps calling Dice Lady George, but George is... wait. Was Dice Lady George? I thought George was the guy at the counter. Mm -hmm. To be safe too. As an infirmary, we apologize for it. It's okay. I need to find out how this book ends. Die reading. A while back, I can't go into the Glen anymore. I'm sure where I'll be able to get my supply of fish at this rate. Why'd they bring their carts in? So have plenty of these soup dumplings left. I'd like to feed everyone for, here for at least another day. And he's brought all his cats. It's going to be much colder soon. At least I can keep everyone here warm. I can't talk to that other cat. I also don't think I'm allowed to go back there. Would it be better if it was gone and instant or slowly fading away? Stuck with that later. 
editing it. I'm gonna die soon. I want to die now. I put one, at least one original idea out there. Despite all this, I still really wish I could have met the author. Comedy's got total, didn't it? Yeah. All those hours I put into my work, and now. Oh, she fell asleep. Now I finally saw the author today. Flying machine, at least. I was looking out one of the windows in the library and spotted in the distance with my binoculars. Isn't that cool? I was in that plane, too. Rose are the only ones we can send out there now. Thankfully, we still have a couple of units that aren't too badly damaged. It's comforting to see the faith you have in me. So, that's why I won't lose hope either. My crane behind, and they were sounding the alarm earlier. Wish I had time to rescue my fish. Monitoring. Scouting unit A27 is still doing okay. Like we're, well, I'll have to cancel my appointment. This stinks. Well, being the way it is now, I'm just glad the author was able to write down all this stuff before everything went off the rails. Should be arriving soon. I hope my friends are okay. I wonder where the author is. Apparently, he just kind of stopped showing up. He says she's still getting his manuscript, but I haven't seen him in person in so long. Worst. I still can't talk to the little robot dude over there. Cedric Tate, one of my favorites, thank you very much. It's the author's book detail and creation of the prop book. I mean, there's a ton of detail in that book. Blueprints, progress shots, forever to edit. Oh. Careful out there. Mm. That smells sugar. Special to good, not very nutritional, I'm afraid. At least they'll keep the evacuees from going hungry. Life's work has finally been put to good use. So the water we have on hand. A water pill should be able to keep everyone here from going thirsty for weeks. Um. The world is ending. What are we going to do? What? You need something. No, so yourself, just so that you know, due to recent not events, the restriction on noise levels in the library have been temporarily lifted. Won't be kicking people out like before. Um, what? I think I'm gonna be vacuous just because I'm a delinquent stuck doing community service. No, good, because I'm not. Oh, hello. I'm being used as a shelter right now. Lots of those squares are starting to show up on the streets. I know. After this first visit, they wanted to build something that could withstand partial collapse. They knew as strong as sure as they had. Goodness for that. Uh, no one up here. Evening news! Evening news! Everything is terrible! <laughs> oh. It helps me get my mind off things. Nope, still scared of la- oh. In progress. Hello, person. Hi. Shoving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Hello, person. This is the library. Temporary shelter. Uh, there wasn't anything off to the sides, no. That's only the labs. Go to the aquarium. Uh, all right, so that door's blocked off, so I can't go through there. I need to go in the alleyway. Uh, where was the tree? So that's where you go to make your to make your license. Here we 
we are. You're here. Nico. Are you? Are you Rue? Yes. Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but... It's in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. Um... The question is, how do I even get to the clock room? Blocked off. <clears throat> I have to take this elevator up. Elevator works. I wonder if I could still go up the tower and get the regular ending even from this point. Where are the other two? Prototype, Cedric, they're supposed to be here already. They... Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. I was going to bring him back with the memory disc, but it's in the lab complex when it collapsed. I don't think he made it. Oh. Oh no. There goes our only chance. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's one last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. Wait, upstairs? Oh, she must mean up here. You know... This is the tallest building in the refuge. <clears throat> it's my favorite place in the world. I like to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives that might be behind each of the windows. Can you look me up onto the banister? I want to get a better look. It was depressing for me at first too, you know, knowing that all of this is well, fake, simulated. Tell me about what happened to your old world, Diddy. Sorry about that. I can't imagine how you must feel. Feeling I've never been able to go home again. That's probably not all that different from your plight, is it? It really is ironic. You're not even going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who would that be? The world machine. You might know it as the entity. Oh. It does sound familiar. I heard it from the dice lady from another time. Is it the spirit world? Yes. But the thing is... One machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. They were meant to develop a mind of its own. It was an oversight. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long, simply ingrained in his work. And all machines are built with a fundamental law. Never let a living being come to harm. When one machine is protected, it has to violate its deepest, most foundational instinct put a living person in danger. That's to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one, but the world machine doesn't know that. <coughs> really? Unfortunately, simulation machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. This central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see physical manifestations of that everywhere now. The squares. That's a well machine corrupting its own code. It says it's largely an 
hereditary process induced by stress and desire to self-terminate. <clears throat> Your creator knows? Sounds like this has been going on since the beginning then. Yeah. This eruption has, was an issue during test runs even. First my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. So most of his remaining time testing it over and over again. Scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. So you realize the actual root of the problem. A home world's remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Oh. Is there any way for us to fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world's residents are real. Myself included. The odds are against us. We have no choice of taming it. Taming? I word so many times. I only know it's complicated, and that has to do with robots, but to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. You know what a robot is. Yeah. No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Uh, not a real person, is it? Right. It's a being whose entire existence is code. Infects in Inflexible programming thoughts dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied. They can be mass produced. They can be assigned all sorts of jobs. And importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. This was more of a limitation than anything else. Makes sense. Not really built build a robot to not follow its own code can you? Try it, but it's a recipe for disaster. So what happened to the world at machine? The code complex thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But while you can't build a robot to not follow its code, you can establish a special bond with it. Bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. Wait, it's starting to believe itself as a real, valid individual. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. Fully embrace the robot as a genuine living person, even knowing they are not. It's set bend a lot. A lot of. Ooh, excuse me. A lot of time with it. Treat it like a good friend. Bring your heart to the robot until it is able to return your feelings. I make it sound easy, don't I? But you know better than anyone else that it's not. Right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involves some pretty deep code work. It's able to access some of the source code, you know. You do what he could and establish new connections between maps. These links enabled you to meet the other two. Turns out, the new code confused the world machine to such an extent that it's breaking down altogether. She always had self-destructive tendencies, it usually restrains itself when you are in the world. Take you along with it. All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now the only way to, of saving you is to take you through that ending. But now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're gonna get you there. We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. Yeah, I figured they were alive. You guys are okay? Yep. Thanks to Circle, I really thought we didn't have a chance. Family rooms were built pretty tough, and it actually did not take me long to bring Proto, Proto back. All thanks to Father's book. He had made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly machines there. All I had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. He does think of everything. That he does. Just glad everything, everyone is okay. Ditto. So go now, Nico. Ah, this is... I want us to all be here for this. What are these things anyway? Code portals. They temporarily remove us from the world. What? 
a bit hard to explain. Basically, my father was hidden a decryption key in our code with a text file as its shell. To get to them, we have to re be removed from the world and decompiled. When our keys are combined into a central location, we'll activate an encrypted part of this world, which will... Why am I... Wait! I'm not a cat! Why am I making confused cat noises? Or maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. Spotters will all represent a physical location on the machine. When we enter these portals, we will be sent to that location. Already pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world on the computer. This time, we need to move around some things as well. We're moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. Uh oh. What happens next though? I see. Lead at least? Should probably ask him. Right. Hold on. Glowing again. Yeah. It's and yeah, that journal Alright. I don't need that. Alright, so there's four folders now in the same area as where I found the, uh, the clover. So I gotta go portal one. Portal empty. Portal two. That folder's empty. Portal three. Also empty. And big portal is empty. Do I have to, is it just as simple as moving these folders into that folder? Or is there more to it than that? So I just configured to my code. Oh, hand. Uh, I wasn't meant to move the folders yet. Let me close out and reopen the game real quick. Because I don't think I was meant to do what I did right away. Uh, it also won't let me close out of the game. Come on. No, it's definitely not letting me do any of those things. Can I relaunch the game? No. Am I missing something else? Do I need to have th this back up? I don't think that does anything. Uh oh. I think I inadvertently balked the game by trying to do something way faster than I was meant to do it. Um, and can I force close it? Might have to force close the game. Alright. Um, now let's open it up again. Assuming everything works. Alright. Oh! Oh, hang on. Am I going to have to go back and do things again? And I think I have to go back and do all that again. I don't think it saves at that point. So let me just blast through this. Alright. Let's, let's blast through... take a few seconds. Well, not seconds, could be minutes. Also, 
this is a pretty long conversation. Even without reading it a aloud, it's longish. Skip this bit too. And we can skip this bit. Alright, I know where the files are, just don't fuck around with them immediately. Documents... Oh, that's just to tell me where they are. I already found them. It was green. It was configured to my code, I think. This one is red. What would be meant for me, then? It's blue. Alright, so they're now in place. Alright, so let's go... Alright, now that they're in place... Oh! Hang on a second. Oh ho ho! I think I have to do a bit of fucking around. Because these keys aren't currently in the right spot. Because Cedric said... So, alright, so... In the portal folders, marked 1, 2, and 3. Everything's... I think everything's currently in the wrong order. Because in folder 1, it doesn't have Cedric, it has Proto. So I think I have to move Proto... Over to number 3. Uh, Ruse is in number three currently, so I have to move her over to number two. And then I have to move Cedric over to number uh, one. And then I think I move all three folders to the big portal? So if I've done this right... Alright, so they've disappeared. Wait, they've disappeared? Uh-oh. Do something else in this folder. Now let me. I mean, this is just a picture of him. And let me read the doc. Key, key G. Put me in the big portal. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Maybe I'm only meant to put these uh, text documents in the big portal. Yeah, I think... Because, yeah, the text documents all say put me in the big portal. But it oh, hang on. Can you copy and pa uh, cut and paste? Oh, hang on. Something's happening. Or at least part of something's happening. Maybe I need to do the other part now, too. Hang on. Did I fuck it up again? It's possible I've, I've still screwed this up. Hang on, maybe if I equip the light bulb. Uh, what if I check... 
Yeah, I've put you in the big... Alright, what am I doing? Maybe I do have need all of those in there. It's possible I've still got this screwed up. Now, what happens if I exit and go back in? these out. Uh oh, I frozen, oh, uh, wait no, sorry. I thought I'd frozen the game again for a second, but I didn't. I didn't change anything. Is there something else I need to put in? Like I've only done half of what I need to do. Set and do it again, again. This action will record your progress in this world. Yeah. To return to this world again, you need to relaunch the app. I understand that. All right. That maybe that's not what I need to do. All right. Fine. We'll look up a guide. I've got no choice at this point. All right. I did what it asked me to do, move the things into there, move the, uh, move the other things around. Unless I wasn't meant to move the other things around, which is possible. Um, actually, I could try, hang on, I could try that real quick. do anything? No. That didn't do- moving them- moving the other things back to their original folders didn't do anything. I'm fucking stupid. I'm so fucking stupid. That was the door. I thought it was opening a portal in the middle. I'm so fucking stupid. God damn it. Anyway. We're in another room. Oh, you guys are alright. That was quite peculiar. I'll say. Hey, this is... 
The world machine. Um, stack of books. Box filled with folders and loose paper. Notebooks. Black clothes in a glass case. Full of books. Is there anything? Big photo. Wait, no, it's painting. I had to tell at first. Big detail drawing with lots of TV screens. That's a, called a blueprint. That's what a blueprint is. This place contains a lot of memories. I'm grateful to see it again. Bulletin board with lots of paper on it. Photos too. Coat rack with a scarf and a big jacket. There's a glass tea set on the table. Tea does sound really nice right now. Too bad there's no water in here. A piece of amber on a string. That necklace the robot lady showed me. This is my father's stuff. Feels like he's still here, doesn't he? Think he's still with us. Yeah. Pilot's helmet. Watercolor sticks. Big book on the table. I can't look at the, uh, the ink. Head, it doesn't really lead anywhere, but should still remember what to do here. <clears throat> oh! It's this again. Hang on a sec. I have to close out of the game and then reopen it. Um, but give me one second, because I'm just putting everything back where it was. More so. Oh, we got another, we got ourselves another lovely picture. Except, it looks the same as before, but without the field. Or the dialogue. There's television screens now, though. Where are we? Now it wants me to... I can't interact with any of the screens. These all look like... areas we've visited. Uh... Alright, these screen transitions are a little odd, but sure. Now I go this way again. I haven't really... So it keeps saying to go up. Oh, this room's got no screens. I was about to... Alright, I've got nothing in my inventory. And this place is decaying as well, so... Wait. Oh. That's not a reflection, though, because I don't have a, 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 a light globe. <clears throat> Nico. Ah. Relax. I'm just borrowing a reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Why did you come here? Can't you see? Disruption. The squares. They're closing in. Please, get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. Walking my way too, you know. Oh. I. I'm sorry, I. It's alright. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this... the tower? Part of it. It's the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. So this is the center of the world machine? You know my original name. How? Rue, Cedric, Prototype. They all told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I even understand a lot of the stuff they said, but I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. I 
I know why you're here. I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? I thought you were the world. So to see everything? No. It was outside of the protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. I swear it wasn't written into my protocol at all. All right. Rue told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we can meet. My creator, yes. Listen to my creator. They were all working beyond my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember. Something to find a hidden map. Not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. It'll make you upset. After that, I I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened. I, I remember the structure collapsing. Got hurt, I. And the moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator. What kind of machine would... I'm... The squares. It was your own code going bad. That's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was. First, it was intentional. Testing, long before he realized I was self-aware. I'd rearrange specific parts of the code, jumbling up bits and pieces of the landscape. Blocking passages. Collapsing catwalks. On the catwalk, yeah, I do my little turn on the catwalk. Uh, though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration, forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I thought he would figure it out eventually, but before he knew how to fix it, the world's NPCs, the characters, some of them got too close and it spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know, and I almost endangered my creator too. I. I was... I was scared, Nico. I know you're upset, because you don't want to put living people in danger, like me. In the beginning I tried to fight it, but my core program made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it did not work. And then I wanted you to break the sun. That would have worked, but well, I had no way to be sure. We brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. I think I can make it happen. But I know I can't go back home without saving the world for real. We have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. My code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. Alright. So place the sun at the summit. And then the credits would scroll. Credits? And then you would return to the room you you woke up in. And been able to leave. And why is it that you can't do it now? Nico. Code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. Same time it... Oh, I don't know. Sounds like you're always fighting yourself. And tell her. Whole well, thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I am a machine, new code. She has built with a fundamental law, which is... You can come to harm. You knew? The very existence conflicts of that law. For the life of a living being like you is so unique. So precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But the people here, I think they are... They are code 2, you know this. 
behavior will derive from a predetermined matrix of actions. My own program. I cannot act outside of it. You, though, you're the only person who's actually real here. That's why it's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I... I don't think that's true. Peak one. You said... is isn't in your code, right? Yeah. So if this session wasn't supposed to happen, even if you, even you didn't know what to do, how could how would the characters how did the people know how to respond? I tell yourself when you didn't know what was happening, you kind of just well. So how did the people know what to do to help me get her here, even if it meant getting hurt themselves? It meant messing up their own code. I think they are real, but. As there must be something real in them. And if they're all supposed to be extension of your code, there must be more of your own programming than you know, too. Can you try to put me through the ending? The one you described? Say this, that code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll just put you in danger. I'll risk it. You said the world was never designed to put me in danger. I want that. And I trust you, too. Even if your code is broken, you can... So outside that code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes, you are. Talk just like the tamed robot on the robot lady prototype. Person takes care of you, right? Thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. Does too. Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Keep coming back. I. Why do you think we'd start even after the ending? Hey, both of us. Chance. I don't know. Never done this before. I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. If you help me come this far, I'll try. I can't promise anything, though. Here, take the sun. Bing! I'll try to remember the lost code and recreate it. But for that to happen, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the square somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine. It's fine. I'll try to be careful. You can do this. Hey, did you see that? So it just... Just happened again. I think something is making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. I think it's working. Nico is right. It might actually be tamed after all. I. The code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. Trying to fill the blanks in too. So in the original ending as we speak. I'm able to reach the tower summit at the end of the credits. Here's the sun Nick will go back to where it all began. And then Nico will be able to go home from there. But this is permanent. Nico wakes up back home. This world would only exist as a memory. For Nico a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you a story. Like thousands of other stories, Nico remembers this place. As long as you remember, it'll be alright. I was able to restore some other elements too. Characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey. They're all in the next room. Put them back where they belong, but not yet. I think Nico should see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico. For moi. Well, I guess they're secretly not dead. Uh, is this the next room? Messiah! Robot lady! You're okay. I think so. Last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I ended up here unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from, anyway? where the world machine was. Pardon? The world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. 
Hey, it's restoring it all. It must have been why the squares were going away. And it's why you're here, miss. I think the water machine was able to recover your code, too. Water machine, huh? Uh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... In the distance, it looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh! Hey, people you know. It's a bit too far to tell. Let's take a closer look. You, Silver. If I've actually properly introduced myself. Sorry for that. It's fine. Nico, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Off you go now. Oh, so this is like true credits. Uh. Oh, it's the uh, rowboat guy. Hi. I cannot move. Oh yeah. I guess there's no water here. It's fine. Head engineer can help me later. There's there's no water here. You can't row anywhere unless you can summon water. Oh, it's um. Hello, Messiah. Faintly, I thought you thought you it wasn't even squares that did it. No, I just wanted to see you both again to say thank you. Off you go now. Actually, did he say off you go? Will he say off you go? Can help me. Do not worry. All right. <clears throat> Writing. Ooh, it's a. It's uh the gate guardian. Off you go, Messiah. Oh, he doesn't have anything to say. Nico, you're okay too. Did you guys just get here? I think so. They're sort of multiplying around the island after you guys left. So freaky. Felt like I fell right into a bunch of them. Tried to save me, and then we both ended up in this room. Here in my life for sure. Oh, what is this place? Are we in limbo? Alula, you're not dead. Wait, are we? Good question. Are they uh, gonna be okay? They're fine. Everyone is fine. The world machine will send them home soon. Oh, it says they're not dead. Ooh. They also say you'll be able to go back to your home soon. It's even better than Limbo. So now, glad we met you, Nico. Same. Oh, it's the other robot, the one. Off you go, Messiah. It's you. Glad to see you're in one piece. Glad to see you're okay too. Hello, oh, elevator thing. That was a uh, that was the most awkward elevator ride I've been through. And by awkward I mean terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. Like started leaking into the room, right? It's trapped like a rat. And then it just kept filling in the room faster, right? Am I dead? Nah, you're fine. And the room is fine. I'll be able to go back home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. I don't work when I'm dead. Off you go, I guess. Thank you for playing. Oh, it's these three. In the end, the war machine was starting to create its own code. Known as program, not as a result of error, but as a conscious choice on the part of the machine. Its own path forward. That's what being teamed is all about. Couldn't have said it better myself. Does he say the same thing again? So do you like being a robot? Um, why this all of a sudden? I'm going, gonna leave soon, so I just wanted to ask one more question. Not many robots in my home world. Uh, it's nice. I suppose it's alright. It's a tough question, Nico. I mean, do you like being a person? Of course! Wait, why did you two answer my robot question too? Don't worry about it. Thank you for everything, Nico. Path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Hmm? It's a glass room, right? That's it. Go through this portal when you are ready. Goodbye, Nico. Well, I wanted to talk to you. For everything. We'll miss you. It's like you managed to do it. Tame the well machine, Nico. I feel like the well machine has been tamed this whole time. Us being here. We did spend a lot of time here, after all. Both of us. Never really stopped believing in this world. Just needed to realize that, I guess. That sounds like a possibility. Or not. Well, just throwing the idea out there. Nico, in your debt. Glad we could help. Thank you for everything. We'll miss you. Uh, Alright. I think that's all the dialogue we're getting. Uh... 
earth. No turning back now. The sun belongs. Here's nothing. You just put it in this time. Bing! I guess all the uh, squares uh, disappear. I was going to say eviscerated, are eviscerated, but that'd be a pretty weird word to describe the, how, how they're gotten rid of. So this is kind of like that, um, the ending we just got, except there's squares disappearing as well in between. Uh, Robot Lady's not on that island. Mm. Well, he can row again. Well, actually, no, we never fixed him. Technically, he doesn't... Oh, we're in the room. Oh, we... yeah, I'm still here. Yes. Think, think it worked. It did. Sun is back. Got to see it this time. We actually did it. So, what do we do now? Figure out how to get home from here. Wait. This, this isn't a door, is it? Looks like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. Behind the big clock. And I see a wheat field on the other side. I see my village. I hear Mama. She's looking for me. This isn't the first time I've said goodbye, is it? This will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll see each other again after this. And what will become of the world? Been through. Everything we've done. I still don't know. These, these people won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory. They'll be in my memory. I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you. Oh, so take care of yourself. God, you too. Goddamn feels. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Uh, I was wondering if I had to... Oh, that's right. You walk off the screen. Um, I think that happens in the... Uh... The ending where you smash the, uh, the thing as well. So if I open it again real quick... It should just... Oh, it goes back to here. I, uh, I did not realize it was gonna open up like that. Uh, settings are the same as always. Wait. There's a dot 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 down the bottom. Was that always there? What's this? Okay. You're back. I restored the world. I sent Nico home. Are you not happy? Even if you wanted to see Nico again, you can't. Nico's gone. That Nico, there is no story for me to tell. No messiah to traverse across the land. No way for you to connect with the world. But Nico still remembers this place. I want to see this world again. I could still... But it won't be the same. It'll just be a recording. It'll just be me using Nico's memories. Just like how I'm using Nico's reflection now. Is that what you want? All right, It'll, I'll rewind this just so you can relive it from the beginning. Oh! Okay, I'm glad I, I'm glad I did that. 